Hello and welcome to another episode of SNE's Garage. Uh, today we're going to go over parasitic draw. Um, what is parasitic draw, you may ask? Uh, basically, it's a drain that causes your battery in your car to go dead over time, whether that be you know one night, two night, three nights, um, that isn't supposed to be there. Um, so right now we're here with our 05 Avalon. Uh, this car doesn't actually have a parasitic draw problem. I'm going to create one, and I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose and, and repair that. Um, so first and foremost, when you do a parasitic draw, it is very, very, very important that you start with a fully charged battery. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to hook your car up to a battery charger. Um, I have this Schumacher charger, it's a 150 amp uh, jump start charger, but it'll also charge at 20 amps. And then after it charges the battery, it'll switch over to a 6 and 2 amp uh, maintain mode just to kind of keep the battery charged, kind of like a battery tender. Um, so we're going to let this guy charge overnight. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to start with our parasitic draw, and I'm going to show you what you should see. And uh, then I'm going to create a, uh, a parasitic draw, um, and I'm going to show you what your meter will look like um, in both instances and whether your car is in spec or not in spec. Um, for example, Hyundai, uh, their spec is 50 milliamps or less. Um, I personally like to see around 30 milliamps. That's where most of the cars that I've tested have seen. Um, but anything lower than 100 milliamps should really be okay, especially with a newer car with a you know a higher capacity battery. Uh, so let's let this guy charge overnight. Uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow, probably afternoonish, and uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do our parasitic draw, and uh, hopefully it teaches you guys how to you know check for that because I know uh, it's one of those issues where it can be really frustrating because you put a new battery in your car, you park it, and then the next morning it's dead already. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose and repair that. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back with you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're here with you today with the 05 Avalon, as promised. And uh, we're going to go over parasitic draw. We're going to hook this car up to the voltmeter, and we're going to see uh, basically how to perform this. So first and foremost, you're going to set up your voltmeter. This is a snap-on voltmeter. I use this at work. Uh, it's a very good meter. Um, you don't need a snap-on, you can use like a Craftsman or something like that. Uh, Fluke makes a great meter. Uh, but you're basically, what you're going to want to do, you have a couple of different ports down here. You're going to want to put your red lead into the amp hole, so the A-hole. Uh, that's the way they taught me in school, actually put it in the A-hole for, for parasitic draw. So uh, if that helps you remember, awesome. Uh, if not, hopefully you got a kick out of it. But we're going to slide that into there. And then our black for our ground is going to go into our common, which is ground. Um, and now, you have to be careful when you do this because you could blow the fuse in your meter. You don't want to put it on milliamps, you want to put it on amps. So we're going to switch it over to amps. And basically that's how you set your meter up. So we're going to turn it off for right now. Um, our next step is going to be to disarm the car. Because before we disconnect the battery, we want to make sure the alarm isn't going to go off the second that we, you know, reconnect the battery to do the test. Uh, so to disarm the car, we're just going to unlock it. And I'm going to open the driver's door. So that the alarm is basically disarmed. So at this point, I'm good to go ahead and disconnect my negative battery terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we got our battery terminal disconnected. It was a 10 millimeter, a snap on wrench here. Um, so now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our voltmeter and we're gonna put it in line with the battery. Now the way I do it is I just use, I have another battery terminal that I just slide right on here and connect my meter to because the, the alligator clips on the meter aren't really big enough to grab you know, the terminal. Uh, the right way. So let me grab that. Okay, we're going to slide this 
battery terminal right on here like so okay we're gonna clip one end onto the battery we'll go right here and we're going to clip our other end onto the negative wire of the car and what that's basically going to do is to complete the circuit so now the car has power but the power is going through my meter so if we set this meter up and I turn it on you'll be able to see what kind of uh, current draw the car is currently drawing so let me set that up real quick hopefully you can see it we're going to put it to, to amps alright so there you have your reading coming through the meter right now the car is drawing 2.7 amps so what we're going to do now is we're basically going to put the car into the go to sleep mode we're going to shut the doors uh, we're going to set the hood latch to make it think the hood shut and uh, we're going to let the car fall asleep so the first thing I'm going to do is shut my driver's door alright I'm going to latch my hood you just take a screwdriver right here push your latch down latch that here, click when I get it down all the way. Some cars you don't have to do this, but it's smart too because if it's got a hood pin, it's uh it's gonna keep the car awake. Let me get a different screwdriver. So now we got our hood latched, we got the door shut, we're going to lock the car right here. And now especially if you have a keyless entry car with a smart key, you're going to want to keep this key as far away from the car as possible. So I got the key away from the car and we're basically going to watch our meter and you're going to see everything in the car kind of start to go to sleep and it should fall to 0.005 to 0.003. So let's just go ahead and watch it. You'll see as one module falls asleep, it'll start getting less and less. There you go. One module just timed out. So you'll see when we started, we were at about 0.5, which is a half an amp. Now we're bouncing around between 0.2 and 0.18. So let's just give it some time, let it fall asleep the rest of the way. There we go. The car is now basically asleep. Uh, we're bouncing between 50 and, and 13 or so milliamps. Uh, ideally, you'd want to be below 100 milliamps. Uh, newer cars, they're a little bit higher. But uh, right now, if I were professionally looking at this car for a, for a battery drain issue, um, I would not be diagnosing any further because at this point, the car is, you know, it, it's completely asleep. There's nothing keeping the battery awake. Um, and the car is good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm basically going to create a draw. I'm going to turn one of the dome lights on in the car, um, and we're going to let it fall asleep again, and you'll see what happens when it finally does fall asleep. There's still going to be a draw. So let me go ahead and do that. So now you see I just woke the car up. It's going to jump up to around 2.5 amps. 
uh, because now it's, it's anticipating me going into the car and starting it up, so it's going to start waking up modules uh, to prepare for that. Let me just get in here and turn the film light on. Okay, so I got my dome light on. I'm going to lock the car, let it fall asleep. And then I'm going to show you how to, uh, to diagnose this issue and uh, narrow down your draw to, to where it is in the car, what it is. So let's give it a couple minutes, see if it, it goes to sleep at all, and uh, we'll see what our, what our draw is at then. Up. So there we go, one module just timed out. Not sure how much farther it's going to drop down, but we'll give it a couple minutes. It took a little while last time. I'd like to see it go below two amps. We'll see if it does. Let's see where we're at. Here we're sitting right around 2 amps. Ah, there we go. 1.8 amps. Okay, so now the car is where I would consider asleep. No other modules are awake, but we do have our parasitic draw that I've created. Um, so now, with your meter connected, basically what you're going to do is you're going to start at your underhood fuse box, and you're going to look at your fuse locations, and you're going to pull one fuse at a time. Uh, pull it, if you don't see it, you know, a change, put it back, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. And uh, basically what you want to do is narrow down which fuse is causing your draw. And at that point you can then go into your, you know, your wiring diagram and go to power distribution and figure out what exactly that fuse is feeding and then you can you know start digging further and disconnecting one of those things at a time until your draw is completely gone um, so like I said I left the dome lights on so we're just gonna go ahead and pull the dome light fuse and we're gonna see if our draw goes away Alright, so like I said, let's go ahead and pull that fuse that I know is, is causing my draw. And what you're going to see is the draw is going to disappear. There we go. So I basically just narrowed down, if I were actually diagnosing the car, I narrowed down exactly where my draw is coming from. So you would basically pull, like I said, one fuse at a time until your draw disappears. Now, if it doesn't disappear with the fuses that are in the underhood compartment, you're going to have to move into the car. Um, and at that point, it becomes a little bit trickier because depending on your car, you now have to trick the car into thinking the door is closed. And that's going to be a different procedure with uh, every car unfortunately. Now this car, for example, I can show you. Um, the best way to do it would be to get a C-clamp, put it around the pillar here, and clamp this door pin shut. That's going to trick the car into thinking this door is closed and um, still allow it to go to sleep. Because if you leave the door open and don't, you know, latch that door pin, the car's not going to go to sleep because it's going to think, you know, the, the door's open. It's going to think you're getting ready to, 
to, to go somewhere. Um, so to recap, you're basically going to disconnect your negative terminal, you're going to take your battery and your meter, and you're going to put the meter in between the battery. So we have our battery completely disconnected from the car, and our meter is connected in series with the car. So the meter, everything that the car is using is passing through the voltmeter, and that's how it is, or amp meter, and that's how it is telling us what our current draw is. So uh, I hope this helps. Hopefully this helps you diagnose your, uh, you know, your battery drain issue. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.